Okay, welcome to my first uh, steaming of 2010. Uh, since I've got most of my mammal or all my mammal engines packed away ready for steam toys in action in February, uh, I've decided to, to run the Walesco since there was a little bit of talk about uh, the D455 which is on the left on the forum and obviously on the right is the D14 overtype. Um, they're both sort of coming up to temperature at the moment. Uh, there will be some stills uh, on the forum so you can actually see the process of actually getting them going. They've been thoroughly oiled, jet oilers filled with oil, the cross heads and uh, linkages have all been uh, lubricated and very soon they should be in steam. Uh, the D455 dates from the late 90s when I purchased that one in Totnes in Devon and the D14 is just over a year old and it was purchased at uh, Christmas uh, 2008 and uh, so both of them are excellent steamers, practically identical in specification except for the fact that the D455 obviously is a vertical boiler but it's got its own uh, regulator on there as well. Um, both excellent runners, uh, the D14 overtype uh, could be um, sort of described as really a, a, you know, a, a, a progression of the Mammoth Miner 2 or the SP2 as it is now but it also shows what possibilities there are in terms of refinement um, when we refer to let's say the SP2 and some of the mammals needing some um, let's say modernization or some more exciting features I mean the D14 for a double acting reversible um, piston a, a cylinder with a piston valve it's also got a whistle, exhaust a chimney these are all things that could easily be incorporated into a revised SP2 the D455 is an excellent runner, uh, unusual in the fact that obviously it's a vertical boiler, a vertical centre flue boiler. And um, the D455 is using my D405 tractor in the background, using its lamp, because obviously, the, as you've seen from the stills, the lamp end has come off on, uh, on the D455. There's the D14 going, and hopefully, the D455 will start very, very soon. Stranger, this one was lit last of all, and uh, it's sort of coming to uh, light before the D455. But uh, we'll let the D455 warm up a little. Uh, and as you can see, it's a very, very smooth, quiet runner. This one's only been run about four or five times, uh, most of it last year. And um, as you can see, uh, it springs into life without any problems at all. Uh, the D455, so it should be just about coming up to steam now. It's got a much smaller area to heat, so it probably takes a little bit longer. But uh, so it's, it's warming up. But uh, as you can see, say so the um, the D14 has the newer red base. Um, lots of sort of the obviously the earlier Walescu's had this nice metallic light blue and um, obviously it's also got a black smokestack and a firebox side as to this more sort of like copper effect um, uh, sort of brickwork it's a sort of effect that you know it's, it's a shame that uh, Jensen built the dock because they just put this horrid pink paint on this salmon pink paint which burns off and it, um, it really cheapens the product it makes their, some of their engines look catty indeed um, I think most owners strip it off and sort of take it right back to bare metal. How, lo how, how long this particular black finish will stay on there, I do not know, but um, we'll just have to wait and see. So, while you're watching the D14, I'll see if I can get the D455 into life. Nearly there, I can feel some resistance on the piston now. Leave it for a little bit longer, I'll just bring the camera around. 
see you is equipped with a really nice large boiler sight glass so you can easily see what's going on and how low the water is in that engine and um, probably just see from the shadow behind the amount of uh, plume of steam that's coming out the top just try this one again now unusual because normally the D455 is a very very competent steamer I think that's closing it, let's try and obviously all the noise at the moment is being made by the D14 there's a small tray right on top that collects all the condensate from the exhaust to the chimney in this one on the D45 it comes right out the back into uh, this little collecting pot Still not up to speed yet. I'm hoping the lamp's actually going to stay or going to burn long enough. I stopped it up with a good supply of air. This bit I used a boiling uh, supply of water. It's just been nice to have them both running at the same time. We'll let it run for a bit more and uh, heat up a little more, and we'll see how we get on with it.